What is going on guys? You wanna know how to transform your stairs from this to this. Just stay tuned, I'm gonna show you step by step on how to transform my stairs and my hallway. Let's get to it. What is going on guys? So this is almost my last project on the second floor. It's the steps and the hallway and the last one's gonna be the laundry room. And as you can see for the steps, I'm just gonna stain it and paint the, the, the vertical part white. And right now I'm just checking out all the transition pieces I'm gonna use and also already kind of started demoing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just ripping up the carpet and then cleaning up. And this project will be painting the walls, painting the trim, redoing the floors. Uh, the transition pieces, the steps, and also changing all the bulbs out. Just a super quick time lapse of me actually demoing the floor. And remember with the tack strips, it's always best to get the carpet to roll up the tack strips so that way you don't poke yourself when you're transporting into the dumpster. Um, yeah, it's pretty much straightforward from here. Alright, now that I'm done demoing, the next step is to prepare for paint. That includes sweeping up and giving it a final clean over before you put paint on the walls. Uh, patch the walls. My walls are fairly new so that one didn't take too long and also tape off anything you don't want to get paint on and that's pretty much it. A quick tip for painting, you want to use an 18 inch roller. I feel like it's the best size for rolling especially for a lot of walls like this. You want to brush everything in first before you start rolling. It makes life easier and sometimes I feel like it uses less paint. But yeah this is my final second coat on the brushing in part. Next is the rolling. Uh, one more tip for painting, get that extension roller. Uh, pretty much any store has it. It's really useful because uh, especially for my ceilings, they're pretty tall. They're I think nine feet. So yeah. Also the color I'm using is called Elemental and it is by PPNG. And you can get that at either Lowe's or Home Depot. Doesn't matter. This video does not do the walls any justice, but I just got done with the last coat. So it looks yellow because of the lights. So yeah, once we change out the lights to a, a brighter temperature, that's that, that'll that fix that. And I did the first stain on top of the steps and it's looking pretty good. I'm definitely gonna do it twice. I'll probably have to sand it down then do it again. All right, now onto my favorite part. Usually when I get to this step, it's like, I just know it's, the project's almost done. And yeah, just that much closer to finishing. Um, quick tips on the floors quarter inch expansion gap all the way around um, I'm lucky that these baseboards are actually kind of high and it almost fits perfect for my floor to slide underneath so it does way more than a quarter inch expansion gap and either way I'm going to use shoe trim to cover up the gap which is fine um, I know some people don't like shoe trim but I don't mind it also you want to stagger your joints it's just more pleasing to the eyes but as far as the integrity of floor, it really doesn't affect too much because at the end of the day, you remember that quarter inch expansion gap. The whole point of that is just in case your floor does expand and contract, that it does not buckle at the weakest point. And the weakest point is going to be where you didn't stagger your joint. And these are pergo floors. They're laminate. If you've made it this far into the video, um, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this. Um, I'm done with the second floor. I just have the laundry room left and that's pretty much it. But yeah, this is how the floor is looking and the next step is to paint the trim and to paint all the white that's on the steps. What is going on guys? I completely finished the trim right now and I finished painting it. And I even finished staining the steps, which uh, to be honest, I think I'm gonna go over it again with the second coat. But yeah, here's the finished product. I finished all the walls, the floors, the trim. I changed all the lights to a more cooler temperature. And here's how I did the closet area. Looks really clean. And yeah, I'd definitely say the hardest part was the floors and doing the transition since I did start each section at its own different time. So I couldn't really just demo everything and keep it like that. And here are the stairs. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And you can see the difference in the light color. That one's like completely yellow compared to these. And I feel like the paint came out pretty good. So I started off with uh, this. So these are the same grays, but just mixed differently. And you can completely see the difference. So one day one of these weren't mixed right. And I'm pretty sure it was the first project I did. Uh, the gray probably was too dark. I'm not sure. But yeah, here's the finished product.